<laughs> Suburban Screams. Peacock's original John Carpenter Suburban Screams. Uh, who got a chance to check this one out? Oh, yeah, baby. I can just leave if you want. I haven't seen these last couple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's like, I haven't seen a single one of these movies. Here. <laughs> okay. I think there's only two on the list. I have. Oh, no, I didn't see Chucky either. I saw the one after Chucky, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Suburban Screams, uh, it's a... It's basically unsolved mysteries or a show that's like that, and uh, it all—it's all about like either like ghost stories or true crime that takes place in a suburban setting. Uh, they're all based off true stories, as true as ghost stuff can be. Um, but yeah, I, I was interested because John Carpenter's name was attached to it. Obviously, I wanted to check it out. And I do like a lot of those older shows, like Unsolved Mysteries, oh, yeah. uh, sightings, like Forensic Files and whatnot. And I know they brought Forensic Files and Unsolved Mysteries back recently, but without the original like hosts, uh, it kind of loses something. Are you okay? <laughs> what the fuck, Adam? <laughs> Adam! <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> I'm bored. Just Adam. Oh, so so Adam has decided to put Grimace on his TV in the background. Yes. <laughs> anyway, like uh, those reboots didn't have the original host, which didn't make them feel like the same show. But this show doesn't have a host other than John Carpenter narrating the opening intro. And he actually, okay, so he actually directed the last episode. And this is how he directed. Directed. Yeah. <laughs> right they shot the in another country and they set up monitors and stuff. And he it. just didn't leave his living room. He's like, fine, I'll direct it. But I'm going to direct it from my living room. The future's amazing. And you know what? What a legend. What a, awesome. what a bloody legend. Um, so, Gil, what did you think of this show? Uh, I thought it was exactly as advertised, right? It's mm. true story, crimes. Not all of them supernatural, which surprised me. Some mm. of them are just straight up horrible people doing horrible things with reenactments and everything. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I'd say is I, I wish you would feel the influence of John Carpenter more. Uh, you yeah. know, some of his score gets in there, which is cool. Um, but yeah, if you could have just felt more of the John Carpenter vibe, I think that would have been cool. But otherwise, I think as you described, if you're looking for the true crime, if that's what you're into, then I think this will deliver. Yeah. Gil, what did you think? Well, let me know, Gil. Sorry, Joey. Gil, you should have just said the same thing over yeah. and over. Again. Well, I will. I just keep asking you the question. All right, Joey, what did you think? Uh, it's a mixed bag, man. I like it. It's the horror of suburbia, which is kind of like a nice little niche in horror uh, that I enjoy watching. Um, I feel like it's a nice balance between like real life tales and like cinematic drama. And there were a mm. few moments in here that genuinely scared me. I only watched a couple of episodes, but I'm looking forward to finishing it. Uh, all in all, I dug it. It was a fun, it was a fun ride. Yeah. What did you think, Crystal? I about what, three hours ago, I watched the first episode. I had no idea what it was about. No idea what kind of show this was. Oh, you didn't I had know? no idea. Oh, I thought I told you. All right. Nope. You don't tell me shit. So <laughs> the John Carpenter, like I saw John Carpenter's name. I saw the word scream in it. I'm like, I'm going to fucking love this. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge fan of um, Unsolved Mystery, like all yeah. those types of shows and how beautifully it was shot. It has that horror aspect to it. I watched the first episode. I fell in love with it. I love it was like perfect pacing between the person speaking and the reenactments. Mm -hmm. The way it was shot, it didn't take you completely out with how it was lit for either yeah. one. I cannot wait to watch the rest. Yeah, um, I know uh, there were people who were talking about the acting being really subpar and cheesy. But again, as someone who grew up with Unsolved Mysteries and whatnot, I kind of like that. I'm like, no, no, I'm actually enjoying that part of it. <laughs> yeah, that part is actually fun for me. Um, it actually, uh, it does look like a really good show. It's shot really nicely. There are some digital skylines and digital mm. sky replacements that are very noticeable. Uh, but one thing I want to praise about it, it's not even the John Carpenter episode, the Bunny Man episode. Now, this is like an actual legend. There was like a guy who killed people you know, like a hundred years ago who dressed like a bunny. And then I, there was like a few copycats and this, this episode told that story. There are actually multiple ep uh, movies based off this bunny man killer. 
There's like a trilogy. What? There's another one called Easter Bunny Mask where there's bunny wear bunny mask wearing killers. And they are god awful. This one episode, and for some reason I've watched these pieces of shit. Uh, this episode is better than any of the other Bunny Man murder movies I've ever seen. Bunny which, Man which wasn't that hard to pull off, by the way. I'm actually shocked it took this long to make this idea interesting. Uh, but yeah, if you guys were to watch this, because uh, it's, it's a different story each time. You don't have to watch it in order. I would highly recommend the Bunny Man episode and then, of course, the John Carpenter episode about the stalker. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but o- o- overall, I really enjoyed Suburban Scream. John Carpenter's Suburban Scream. So this is a good show for like a mom. I feel like my mom would love this show because <laughs> she's into <laughs> ghosts and true crime. Uh, so yeah. After so watching far. reruns of JAG, she can fire this bad boy up. <laughs> CSI, Florida, or whatever the fuck they're doing now. Uh, does anyone watch the new Unsolved Mysteries? I kind of yes. feel bad because I have a friend who works on it and I haven't watched a single episode. Uh, I didn't even know they were doing that. Yeah. yeah, they're just not as, I mean, maybe it's just nostalgia. Without Robert Stack, it's, and he wasn't even the only host of Unsolved I Mysteries, know, but, but without so. Robert Stack, it's kind of, it's like when they brought back Forensic Files, it's like, no, you need, you can't get the original voice actor, he's dead, but you kind of need that voice actor to make that show work. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I recommend Suburban Screams. 